In this video, we're going to talk about the Arcbird OSD Autopilot and uh, I will show you how to uh, connect everything and make it work. So here in the back, we've got the FPV part, so the video out, video in, 12 volts in if you want to run a second battery for the video, the jumper under here and uh, actually the current sensor and uh, who takes the power to uh, to power up the the unit if you leave the jumper here you can use the same battery for run your plane and your video if uh, if you want to use a second battery just need to take off the jumper and uh, you connect the battery here where is right 12 volt in but then what you have to just something to remind first you have to power up this section and then you go with the main battery so for today i will show you the the with the same battery okay on this side Actually, what those are, are the pins that we can use for uh, uh, firmware upgrade. This is TX, RX, pin over here. And um, when we run PPM signal, we connect to the first one here from the receiver. If we run PWM, the receiver will be connect on this side and this one we're gonna use this one for RSSI so uh, move to the other side we've got in and out so uh, start from the left we've got Elron elevator throttle rudder uh, aux uh, channel 5 and channel 6 and the out are for uh, aileron, uh, elevator, throttle, rudder. And this one is GPS port. So actually, if you're using a PPM in, you can use the, the spare channel uh, for channel 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So let's see in action how it works. Actually, you've got also the reset button over here. If you press for five seconds, it will reboot. And here, actually, those are for reverse. Uh, for reverse the the gyro compensation, but you can do also from the. I always leave it like this, and I do directly from the OSD menu. So let's start everything together first. See, here is the current sensor. Okay. And the first will connect over here, the first pin, so this will bring uh, power to this section of the module. Then the current sensor go to the ESC. I actually use a BC to do that, but just for the show you, uh, I will use the the internal BSC of DSC. So you put on the third one over here that is the the motor. Then just to show you I will put just one servo. That's gonna be for the aileron. Put on the first one. Okay, like this. There you go. Uh, then the receiver I run PPM so just use the first channel over here always the naked C is uh, the, the down pin then your VTX out if you run immersion here see what actually what I do it's like servo connector like this then I split my 
I split my uh, power and my video just like that you go in video out the signal always on the top and now it's video in. for the moment I just run cam to show you what you actually what you can do what actually you can do it's if you run a five volts camera and immersion let's say you take your five volts from here because the the OSD provides just 12 volts so for the moment I don't need the uh, I need I put just the video so in video in and the GPS so now let's see on the radio but actually what we do is like this, turn on the radio. Italo, manuale, livello. So. Okay. In the mixer we've got aileron, elevator, throttle, rudder. And then we need for channel 5. Automatico, manuale. We need two Automatico, position switch, manuale. switch. And for channel 6. We need three positions switch. Ritorna a casa, livello. So let's power up everything and go through the menu. So first when you uh, you can notice when we power up the when we power up the system, what is gonna do is gonna start to search for satellite. In this case what we, we do inside it's almost impossible to get satellite fixed so what we do is we switch um, channel 5 and channel 6 Automatico. Ritorna down a to casa. RTH and we put the the aileron stick to the right so in this case it will skip the, the satellite search ok we put back in manual so over here you can see the layout of the USD. Here, here you can see the pitch and roll of the USD. Over here is the altitude. Here we've got RSSI. This is the compass. Here is the the flash for heading home. Over here we can see the. This does mean that it, now it's manual mode. The little radio this is the number of the satellites. Then now that there are no GPS signal, actually in the upper here we can uh, up here we can see the uh, GPS coordinate. Here it's the flight time. The flight time start at the moment you take off. Those numbers here are the amount of vibration that can go from uh, 0 to 94 uh, for 100%. And uh, here is the, um, the speed. Over here we can see the, how many amps we pull from the, uh, from the, from the battery. Here is how many amps we co uh, the consumption uh, total are the amps. And here we got two voltage. Actually, in this case, we have got uh, the same battery, so they will show the same voltage. Over here, there is the, um, the distance from home. Here, 